I've heard time and time again that offsets make the best barbecue. So now that I have an Old Country Pickles offset smoker, I'm gonna smoke a pork butt on it. So I've never tried an offset pork butt before, but I have had many on my Weber Smoky Mountain. So I wanna see if an offset pork butt is truly superior. So let's get to it. So I have a boneless pork butt here from Costco and boneless pork butts are kind of annoying because they don't have that bone that holds it in place. So when you're cooking it and you're moving it around, you're wrapping it, it tends to kind of fall apart a little bit if you're not careful. But unfortunately, Costco only sells boneless pork butts, but that two pack deal at Costco is hard to beat, man. So not much prep for these pork butts, just have to score the fat cap and then it's ready to go. And just FYI, I am using techniques that I learned from Jeremy Yoder from Mad Scientist Barbecue. I have always followed Jeremy's video on how to smoke pork butt whenever I was cooking on my Weber Smoky Mountain. So to make a fair comparison, I'm gonna be doing the same thing today on this offset. So if you wanna understand the whys behind the techniques that I use in this video, then make sure to watch his video and I'll have that linked in the description below. So today I am using a binder because I wanna make sure I get an even coat of seasoning on this pork butt. So I'm using a 50-50 blend of hot sauce and soy sauce. Now for the rub, I am just going with traditional salt and pepper. Now I've used a ton of different rubs when I cooked a pork butt on my Weber Smoky Mountain, but the most I ever used was salt and pepper, so that's why I'm using it today. Plus with the minimal rub, I'm hoping that I'll be able to better taste the flavors that the offset produces. Okay, so it's pit time. So I'm gonna be smoking the shoulder 225 degrees Fahrenheit to 250 the whole way through. So the cool thing about Weber Smoky Mountains is they're super easy to use and they're also very versatile. As you can see, I'm actually using the bottom of my Weber Smoky Mountain as a fire pit because it is windy and cold here in Tennessee. So I love the taste of pork shoulder on the Weber Smoky Mountain. And when I first started barbecuing, it was one of my favorite things to smoke. And I've made pork butt on a pellet grill before, but the WSM pork butt is hands down my favorite. So if this offset pork butt really does taste better, I will be blown away. So three hours into the cook and I am just spraying the sides with apple cider vinegar, trying to make sure that nothing burns while we wait for the color that we want and also for that fat to render. And along with that, I have just been trying to manage a clean fire and what has been really helping me out in this cook with that is this cast iron fire rack that I got from Tractor Supply for 25 bucks. So a big shout out to Raleigh Smoke for suggesting that I make that purchase. He has a lot of great videos on his channel featuring the Old Country Peco Smoker, so make sure to check him out and I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. But burning a clean fire is one of the major differences between a Weber Smoky Mountain and an offset smoker. So to make the smoke clean, I am constantly trying to pick the right splits, wait for them to catch and arrange them in a way that it can get maximum airflow. It can get tedious, but from what I hear, that thin blue smoke is what gives meat that distinct flavor when smoked in the offset. So when I first started barbecuing, I thought thin blue smoke was the only way to go when you're cooking on the Weber Smoky Mountain. But now that I have some experience with an offset smoker, I just don't get how you could possibly get thin blue smoke in a Weber Smoky Mountain. Because when I use the Weber, I would bury my wood chunks underneath the coal, and I would also use the minion method, which basically slowly burns the coals. So with the method I was using, I would think that the wood chunks would have a lot of trouble getting airflow to them since they're buried underneath unlit coals. And I doubt the fire basket was even hot enough to burn the chunks cleanly. But I don't know, none of this is research. This is just all based on my experience. So let me know in the comments if you do have some insight. Can you get thin blue smoke in a Weber Smoky Mountain and how? Okay, so it's been seven hours and the fat has completely rendered. The bark is looking absolutely fantastic and this pork butt is ready to wrap. So I'm just using foil for wrap just to help me push past the stall and finish this pork butt. And I'm just gonna stick this pork butt in the Traeger because it's already wrapped so it's not gonna get any more smoke flavor and more importantly, I'm cold and I don't wanna be out here anymore. I have never done a cook on this offset more than like four hours so I'm completely wiped. Managing a real live fire is no joke. But because an offset is fueled just by wood versus a Weber Smoky Mountain that uses mostly charcoal and a few wood chunks, I am expecting a pretty distinct taste difference, especially in the smokiness on this pork butt. Okay, so it took eight and a half hours to cook this and I let it rest for about 30 minutes and we are ready to try it. So let's get this thing opened up. Oh man, it's juicy. No joke, this is the prettiest pork butt I have ever cooked. The bark is just so dark and I'm like actually shocked that it held up so well without that bone. Okay, the moment I have been waiting for, so let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna take a piece right off of the money muscle. Oh, 
So there is a lot of steam coming off this pork butt. So I am gonna try this piece, but I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of it rest so that it doesn't dry out super fast. So the thing I noticed is that the way that this pork butt shreds. So on my last pork butt that I made in the Weber Smoky Mountain, I really tried to push it and get that really nice dark bark. But what ended up happening is that the meat kind of got like mushy, but as you can see here, sorry, oh, I lost a soldier. No! Just nice, oh, oh my gosh, I'm losing all my meat. Just nice shreds of meat. Nothing mushy, still juicy. Well, only one thing left to do. We gotta taste it, so cheers. That is the best pork butt I have ever tasted. I gotta get some more of this. Mm. Wow, the smokiness just works so well with that pork flavor. I'm gonna be making pork butts all the time now. Brisket is my favorite barbecue item and like this could go toe to toe with brisket. This is so freaking good. In my opinion, the offset pork butt wins hands down. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And for comparison, make sure to watch my video on the last pork butt I smoked, which is on your screen right now.